So I want to have a chat about artist block and some other tips I've been using. And this is kind of a recent thing. I've gone a, I've been fighting through a three year bout of artist block. I'm overcoming it. And just recently I had a little bit of a snag. So I want to have a chat about artist block and some other tips I've been using. And this is kind of a recent thing. I've gone a, I've been fighting through a three year bout of artist block. I'm overcoming it. And just recently I had a little bit of a snag. So I want to share with you some of the things I've been doing to help me get through this snag to get back on track. And I think I'm back on track again. Yay! So anyway, I wanted to share this with you because it helped me out. It might help you out. It might not. So, okay. So let's see if I can flip this around. I don't think I can right now. I will flip this around in a moment. Okay. So yes, this is a look into my closet uh, in my studio. And these things were primarily used for at one time for fabrics. Now this last little corner or uh, row here is still all fabrics. Um, but I repurpose these guys and I have used them for the new direction which I'm going into so part of this um this time where I couldn't create I put into productive use and again don't be hard on yourself do things that will help you out so what I've done is I've these are things that I have already so I just kind of got some inexpensive containers started organizing things now I know where my stuff is and I can start working on projects as soon as I'm ready, which I am now. And I have some space to grow as well. So, yeah, I don't know if this is a good thing I'm showing all the stuff or not. I don't know. But I have like a drawer here. These are a bunch of uh, canvases that I've done in the past. And all I got to do is push prepping up the backs and they're ready to be sold. So, this is all nice and neat and organized. I've got another one. Whoops. I do have another one down there. <laughs> With some more boards that I can fill up and stuff. And then I've got a drawer here for crafts. In fact, I'm going to use this for my next little project. Um, and then I've got... And then this is the rest of my uh, quilting stuff. All on my little shelf here. Or bookshelf. Yeah, there we go. So... What I've done here is I've repurposed uh, these bookshelves and utilized them more towards the resin, um, alcohol inks, and where I'm going now. So, you know, put all the spray paints together because I was collecting those guys. Uh, pens, markers, pencils that I use. You know, I've got some wood in the back for some future projects. These are trays that I got through finishing up. I think finishing artwork is probably some of the harder things to um, store. But I've got a whole area here. I've got some uh, rounds back there. Um, these are some finished pieces of art there. Same with that. But I've got canvases all over the place. Just, just ridiculous. And a whole shelf here of canvases. But it gave me the time to figure out where I want to go, how I want to do it. And, um, oh yeah, these guys I'm using for pens and pencils. Little things that, you know, where I can take. And I wanted to create this in a way that I can take the entire drawer out there if I wanted to. Or if I wanted to grab just one thing. So, I've had these two for a long time. I did add these two. But um, the repurpose, it didn't take a whole lot to uh, reconfigure. I just got inexpensive things, meaning some containers to help me out. So I didn't find myself like, oh, I got to buy all this stuff when I get into an artist block. I wanted to just do a little bit of stuff. So that was that. And then also it allows me to, if I have some drawings, uh, to either finish up the drawings, do some doodling, change the pace, uh, or prep them up for the next project. You can probably figure out where this is going here. 
and there's a whole stack of them under here that I'm not going to show you just yet. But, um, and then you've always got cleaning, which picking and cleaning of the resin tumblers and stuff, or I might be holding this on for a friend of mine. I don't know. She likes to, to pick at things and clean things up. Jen, that would be you. <laughs> I've got a little project over there. I'm not going to show you a lot about. But I got that all organized and a couple projects laid out here. But I've also gone and organized my shelf a little bit more and rearranged these guys. I know I've shown you these. Oop, here, hang on a sec. It's hard doing this one-handed. So I've got a tray here full of these guys, all these uh, paste and glitters and stuff like that. And I found that I ended up having more than I thought. So I organized my trays a little bit more, some that I had didn't have as much from that particular brand and then combining them with another brand so that I could open this up for all this particular brand. Because I was using a lot more of that particular color. I'm using particular a lot, you know, things like that. So that's all set up. I got all my glitters where they should be. And I got mica patterns in here. And I use these, these shelves quite a bit. So I keep these guys clean. Uh, I've also got a couple shelves here that I've got molds on, so they're ready to go at a moment's notice if I need to do something with my leftover resins. So, and then, <laughs> believe it or not, this looks like a hot mess. It's not that bad. That box, big old box there, is just full of packing material. So yeah, it does kind of overflow a little bit, but it is still contained. And then, okay, that doesn't look nice. But all that's my shipping stuff. So that's my next step. I gotta put the, all this stuff up for sale. And I don't have it up for sale. Those, those are for some future projects, like maybe today or tomorrow, I'm gonna work with those colors. Fun. Anyway, so organize your space a little bit. Uh, take that productive time that you now have because you can't be creative and be practical with it and uh, set up your space how you want to. So, and we're going to have to say goodbye to my long arm. It might possibly be sold soon. But I'm excited because I'm going to set up this area back here and put all my canvases or possibly a new workstation, move that work area there to have a longer workstation for my resin. So it'll be cool. I'm excited about that. Anyway, so let me switch your rack around. So last thing I wanted to talk about as far as helping you out um, with Artsbach is surround yourself with like-minded people um, in the direction you want to go to, um, whether it's writing, creative drawing, photography, art related. But if you surround yourself with like-minded people or even things that they've created, um, let's say it's photography and you fill your home with photography or a certain part of your home, with different individuals that you not necessarily inspired to be, but maybe are inspired by the person they are or the, or the work they do. Um, I've got a little corner of my studio that I've got artwork from other artists that I know. And so it's kind of my little inspiration corner and it's really, really cool. So I'll share that with you. So this is my guest room that's inside my studio. All right, we gotta say hi Zoe. Zoe, hi. So inside my guest room is, it, yeah, there's a bunch of my art that's hanging up there. A little piece I did with Marcy, mixed media girl. But over here in the corner, of course, on the way to the bathroom, which is not real exciting is my little corner for uh, other artist friends of mine that I've got some pieces up there. And this is Petra's piece and uh, Susan Cleveland, who's, she's just got so much personality and she's a whole lot of fun and she's the nicest lady I know. Um, oh, there's another piece by Mixed Media Girl and Helen Godden. 
and this goes into my quilting. So this is kind of the quilting people that I surrounded myself with. And this is Gail Thomas. She likes dragons and we've done a couple pieces together. And these are my buddies. This is Jeff's, one of Jeff's pieces. And this is Erica's piece. I'm gonna resin that sucker up so I can hang that up and I'll, and I'll add to the collection over here. But this is one of those things that I can reflect on and enjoy um, in my own home, whether it's being by my desk or in my studio area or any place like that. I gotta show off another little piece just briefly that um, Gail and I worked on together. So I can't show you the whole thing, but I can show you a little part of it. Anyway, I wanted to share with you a little board that I have that is also a little bit of inspiration if I need it. And these are just little quotes that other artists that I know have done or little notes for me um, that make my heart sing and stuff. And I keep those around and it's just things to reflect back on, uh, make me feel good. This is, this is a buddy of mine, Alex Anderson. She put that in there with her quilt, and I was like, I wanted to keep that little note. I know she was just talking about pressing her quilt and stuff like that, but I just thought it was kind of a nice thought about press his smiley face if you needed it. So these are also some inspiration quotes that other friends of mine have given me to help encourage me in my journey of being, in this particular case, a uh, quilt artist. So, yeah, there's my buddy Gail in this, she drew this out and that's her in there and that's Helen Godden. So, uh, Annette, I'm not real familiar with Annette, but she's the, uh, the third one from the sisters. So these are just things to keep me motivated and you know, encouraged. So keep those kind of things close to heart. So I hope that helps you out. Those are little things that I do or I have around me that help encourage me without even talking to people, meaning being surrounded by artwork or just surround yourself with other artists and friends and stuff like that. Somebody you can lean on or even just be in their world for a, a little while. Uh, like I do ours to death and I'm one of the moderators. So I'm kind of sharing her life for a little bit and that helps me out. So anyway, I hope this video helped you out and remember, don't be hard on yourself. Just try again tomorrow. See you later. Bye. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, but definitely hit the bell because you don't know what I'm going to put up next. Later y'all.